when you're writing a program, different type of errors occur. Those are known as bugs. And the process of locating those errors and removing or eliminating those errors is known as debugging. Let us try to understand different terminology like syntax error, runtime error, semantic error and logical error and so on. So what do you understand by the word syntax? Syntax is the list of valid alphabets, symbols used in a programming language along with the rules of grammar. These kind of errors are detected by the compiler during the process of compilation. So what are legal symbols? In the English language, the alphabet A to Z are legal symbols or alphabets. If I use Kannada letters in English, that's an invalid symbol. And there are certain rules in English like putting full stop. Same here in programming language. I can use only certain alphabets. I can use only certain numbers. I have to use semicolon, colon. Those are all rules of grammar. So if I fail to write something which does not follow the rules of grammar or if I write a code which does not follow the rules of grammar or if I use improper symbol, the compiler during compilation is going to flag it as a syntax error. So errors that occur due to failure to follow the grammar rules or use the correct symbols are known as syntax errors and these are detected during the process of compilation. Now let's take a look at a simple C program. It's going to make more sense once you do a little C. So these are five lines. I have declared two variables x and y of the type integer. I am asking someone to enter two numbers. The first value is going to be stored in x. The next number is going to be stored in y. And I am printing the sum of x and y. This should not be count. This should be C out. So I am printing the value of x plus y and then I am finally quitting. Now here if you see after this first line I am required to end that line with a semicolon. So on line number 1 I have missed the semicolon. On line number 3 I am required to put a semicolon but I have put a colon. So these are examples of syntax errors which will pop up when you try to compile your program. So compilation will pop up errors on line number 1 and line number 3 saying that you have missed a semicolon on line 1 and you have missed a semicolon and you put a colon instead of a semicolon. So once you correct these particular errors the program will run fine. Okay. So this should be just C out. So this is a simple program to read numbers and find the sum of two numbers. Now let us say we have made all corrections to the program. I have written a code like this. I have said result is A divided by B. I am not sure what data a person is going to enter when I am compiling it. But just say during running or executing that program, the person enters the value of A as 100 and enters the value of B as 0. So what is going to happen? You cannot divide a number which is not 0 by 0. You are going to get something called as a divide by 0 error. This is an example of a runtime error and the program will halt. It will not continue to proceed because it cannot, does not know the answer to 100 by 0. So this is an example of a bug in code and this kind of error is known as a runtime error which has to be corrected. Now let's try to find out what is a semantic error. So let us say I have written a program and I wanted to actually write, okay, I wanted to add A to B and then multiply it with C. but in a hurry, I forgot that B into C is going to be calculated first and then that is going to be added to A because that is what the rules of maths precedence of operator states. Multiplication division will come before addition and subtraction. So instead of A plus B into C, it's going to do B into C and add it to A and give the result. So the problem here is this is known as a semantic error or a program which is semantic means the word semantic means meaning. It's going to come up with the wrong meaning. It is doing the wrong thing. Okay, it's not doing the right thing. The reason is because the compiler thinks this is what you want to do. It doesn't understand what you want to do. Okay, it's not smart enough to understand that you wanted to multiply B and add it to A. Sorry, you wanted to add A to B and then multiply it with C. So what happens is the syntax, everything is right. That means the full stop, the symbols are right, the semicolon is right but it has the wrong meaning. These errors are difficult to debug because it looks right and only when you are testing it on paper or trying to run through the program you will find that it is multiplying B with C 
and then adding it to A rather than adding A plus B and multiplying it with C. So in semantic error, a program will run. It will not produce any error message, but it definitely does not do the correct or the right thing. So very often a program may be syntax or the syntax of a program may be correct, but it's log sorry, but it's a semantics or what is expected of it may be wrong. Now the last type of error I am going to talk about is something known as the logical error. So a logical error is an error caused due to incorrect logic in your program. So you will get an incorrect output or an unexpected behavior of your program. It again is not found out during compilation. Only when you run it, you will get the wrong answer. Say you are trying to calculate semi-parameter using Hiran's Hero's formula for area of a triangle. So you should be writing S is equal to A plus B plus C divided by 2. But you have written like this A plus B plus C by 2. Unlike maths, this complete thing is not going to be divided by 2. It will first divide C by 2 and whatever is the result, it will be added to A plus B. Whereas you wanted A plus B plus C to be added together and that to be divided by 2. But that is definitely not going to happen because you have done this particular mistake. So this is an example of a logical error. It creates unexpected behavior or incorrect output never detected during compilation, always detected when you run the program and you are trying to verify the results. So I hope you are clear about syntax error, runtime error, semantic error, logical error because we will be using these words number of times as I teach you programming.